Hey guys, welcome back! Hello. Yep, we're starting at a different point this time. Uh, yes, because there's been, uh, quite a bit of level grinding. As you can see. I actually ended up deleting my level 99 file. Really? Just the, I didn't feel accomplished, if you remember I used cheats on it. Oh, yeah. And I used cheats on this file too, but only for, um, infinite life tree berries and then magic berries and, uh, all spells. So, to the rock so we go. everything that matters. <laughs> okay, so, yes, as you can clearly see, he's been busy. I've been busy with other things. Like exams. Okay. Now before I open the menu, get ready for a big surprise in terms of HP and MP numbers. One, two, three. We And check out who's finally hit the 400s. Yep. We've also uh, updated our equipment a bit. Uh, yep. Thank God. Liquid Metal Sword, we already have that. Metal King Armor. The ultimate suit of armor. That... Um, which we have, of course, no, we don't have a copy of it, oh well. I can't remember, did we have that last time? I can't remember. Uh, no, I don't believe so. Oh, the, no, wait, no, we didn't, no, we didn't. I, I went back through the, um, Dragovian path, you know, the one that we took to get to the Dragovian Sanctuary. Yeah. To get some, to get some of the treasure I just inten uh. intentionally missed. And I got a liquid metal armor. Which you can upgrade into the metal cave. Which I did. I used alchemy. Right. I forgot which was what. Equivalent exchange. Great helm. That's... Th these two are still the same. Or wait, no, this isn't the same. I gave, um... He reduces fire. I made... Goddess shield. Yep, I used alchemy to get that. And then I Neat. gave... I gave the silver shield and from Angelo to Hero. Okay. To upgrade the mirror shield. I see a couple of new items in our inventory as Great. well. Great. Hell, Ruby Protection, those are old. Sage of Stone, I used... There. I got three now. Oh, wow, damn. I didn't know you could make more than one. Yep, um... Uragrasil Dew plus... You gold... Yggdrasil Dew. That plus... Gold Nugget plus Orichalcum. Wow. Rune... I, and again, I gave... Everyone, and everyone a Rune Staff. Okay. And then... Because it raises defense when uses in battle. A kabuff, and it can save you MP. Right. I made another temporal tension. Wow. And this time I get. Last time it was on Angus, but this time I gave it to Hero and uh, Angelo, since they're two of the. Since they'll probably get to go before Angus. Interesting. Okay. Angus has to conquer his axe, she already knew that. I Wait. gave him the liquid. I made. I got another liquid metal armor from the casino. I bought it. Ah, uh, okay. I did. I did Big boss shield. That's, uh, if you give Dodger Dave. You remember Dave, right? They... From Pit Camp, the one we talked about, about the horse. Yeah, yeah, okay. If we, you have to run, uh, do certain side quests for him and get, uh, use alchemy and get items. And then the Metal King Hill. If you give him a Crimson Robe, you get the Big Boss Shield. I see. Metal King Hell. Ultimate Hell bestows a strong resistance to a variety of spells. Very nice. A beautiful ruby. We already got that. And then I got that on backup. Items and Sage of Stone, Room staff, staff, and the Staff of Resurrection. So now so everybody now, has reses. Yep. Hero has Zing, Yangus has the Resurrection Staff, she's got the Resurrection Staff, and a Uraxis Leaf, and Yangus Angelo Zing. has Zing and Kazing. Jessica has got the Gringham Whip. Wow. And it just attacks everybody rather than a group of enemies, which is nice. Here's the downside though. Only when you do regular attack. Ah, uh, it doesn't modify the special attacks. Nope, like Serpent's Bite is still a group. Ah, uh, okay. And Divine Bust the Air. I uh, increased dodge, apparently. Yep, so I gave the dragon rope she had to Angelo. Ah, uh, so okay. And look at this. Finest of all river finest rope available reduces damage from fire and ice base by 40 points. And that by up to half. So basically, fire and ice doesn't touch, Angelo. 
And if you recall the scorching flames from the first dragon in the last video, that uh, one of them did 168 points of damage on him. Yeah. So basically, George R. R. Martin is not happy with Angelo. <laughs> and then I, uh, he, Angelo originally had the milking helm. This is slightly the less defense, but it's a dodge thing, which is actually kind of appropriate on Angelo. And the defense difference isn't too big. Uh, yeah, that's seven points. Mm, Ruby protection and then the rune staff. Yeah. Even and though you and temporal attention. Even though you already has asked cut buff. Right. But saves MP. Yeah. So and then what what's the rest of Jessica's equipment there? Because I don't think we went through all of it. Rune staff, restoration and staff. Uh we got through the bus here. Oh. Middle King Shield. We already had that. Ah, okay. And we already had this too. This is what saved her from being killed from the Kaboom after she got desperate attacked uh, by a rat, uh, baby Raptor. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. So yeah, at this point, everyone has the best uh, equipment available, except for the hero. Which we're going to take care of. And then once I get the Dragovian armor, I'm going to give the Metal King shield, or the Metal King armor to Angela. Yeah, that makes sense. And then let's see, what have we learned? Anything new? Oh, and I ironic is ironic. <laughs> Three points away from 500 HP. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Ah. EXP. 264... Uh, 2,640,000. God damn. She's sitting nice on... 51,000. Good grief. Her and Angelo have the most, and we started the game with these two. Yeah, that's really kind of weird, actually. Well, it's because she... Okay, if you re if you remember, this is how it goes for leveling. Yang, uh... When you first start the game, Yang is in the rock level, or Yang is in the hero level together for, like, the first few levels, and then Yang is, starts becoming the one that, level that levels up first, and Jessica is the one that levels up last, because she requires the most experience for some reason. Hero and Angelo stay Age. about Hero and Angelo stay about the same. Angus requires the least amount of the experience and I don't know what that is. That uh, You'd expect a hero to have the least amount of experience, not Angus. Yeah. You know, I think that's actually kind of related to Dungeons and Dragons, because if I'm remembering like, okay, we're talking way the hell back in well No, third edition kinda did this as well. Um, but in, um, in, in second edition, definitely, everybody required, different, based on their class, different amounts of experience to level up. And mages were always the ones that required the most. Probably because after they hit high levels, they're absolutely fucking ridiculous. Everybody knows at least one story of a high-level mage just wrecking the entire plot. Um, third edition slash 3.5 did something kind of similar, as far, as far as I remember. There was slow... They, they basically divided the classes into slow advancement, medium advancement, and fast advancement. So that um, certain classes would level up faster. Kind of as an attempt to that's balance. That's a new one. Ah. It's an all, all screen. Okay. But yeah, uh, if I remember it, like fighters leveled up. That's a new one. Uh, that's a new one. Uh, fighters uh, leveled up pretty, like like at an average rate, if I remember it. Like thieves were, were pretty quick to level. So that makes a vague amount of sense if they're basing it on uh, that old, old engine. Is there a particular reason? No, I'm just checking. The rock may well die rather often, but the fact remains he has muddled along thus far. Plug and backbone is enough to see us though through. Uh, okay then. 
I'm not gonna go through all the monsters, but I'm just gonna show the metal ones. Okay, so I saw the stat for monsters intimidated. Um, how exactly does intimidate work? Yeah, I've never showed you. I don't believe so. I'll have to show you during the uh, heavenly days. Well, um, family slime, family. Let's see, metal slime. The yep. fi Fifty-seven defeated. Yep. They're worth a nice chunk. Blend the liquid metal slimes are <laughs> definitely worth the XP if you can kill them. Metal slime knights, of course, and metal king slimes. That are worth 30,010 experience points. Yep. So, yeah, these guys are definitely the... the... And then... Huh, we seem to be missing a monster. Goodie bags are right. our first gold things. Yeah, for getting, uh, getting tons and tons of gold. And finally... Gold golem. It's kind of, it's kind of weird, the disparity between XP values and, and, well, how much XP you get for a monster. So like a maximum. Or seven. We've got a total of 45,012 gold from them. Yeah. That's pretty... That's pretty crazy. Seventy-six thousand nine hundred fifty for the metal slimes, and that's experience, not gold. Yep, because they give crap gold. Four hundred sixty-two thousand three hundred for the liquid metal slimes. Yep, if I, I, if I said that right, and uh, one million fifty thousand three hundred and fifty XP from metal king slimes. And of course, they, they're crap, even on their metal. Yeah. Which is kind of sad. And then, the big bosses. Magus, another Dual Magus, Jessica, Imperial! Victories 2,643. Wiped out 22 times. Yep. I forget. I'll. I try to find. I try to find a ratio, but I don't remember how to do that. I'm not gonna waste time. Yeah. Time sled 1,187. And maximum gold obtained 341,966. And maximum damage in one turn 3,348 points combined damage on ruin. Yep. That was a fun fight. And we got our all Kamiki recipe book. All recipes. So we haven't made all of them. Nope. But it's kind of weird. It's tough to make them all. Shimmering dress. That's what we need to make the divine bestier. Yeah. Spangled dress was for protection, which I bought from the casino. The spangled dress. Liquid metal, metal king armor. Liquid metal armor plus slime crown plus a real calcum. Thanatos shield plus saint's ashes. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you remember, we got, we remember, you remember getting that? Yeah, vaguely. Ruinous shield plus saint's ashes plus a real calcum. Yeah, the item creation system is kind of cool, actually. But it takes for fucking ever. Casino, you can win. You can win up to a total of sixty-six thousand uh, points. Yeah, I'll show you a video later. Now yeah, that you're pretty familiar with our monster team. Ah, I see. We picked up a, uh, a cat. 
collected a few new monsters. Followed his home. Tell me who the new one here is. Gee, I wonder, <laughs> could it be the large red lizard <laughs> that we've never seen before? <laughs> um, maybe you remember there was a red version of it. Yeah. And then in reserves, I got Acterion, Arges, Archfiend, Bishop, that's a new one, Morstar, that's a new one. And this Flailsman. Talos. Yeah, the Bishop is near Simpleton, and Morstar is before the cave. You enter to go to the snowy land. Ah. The snow disk. That, that area. Hmm. Okay, then. <clears throat> oh. Um... Do, do we really need to go uh, over all of our stats? No, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, um, if you have, if you build up your special team right, you can if you uh, normally you can only do they only stay three turns in, but if you have the right numbers, you get a fourth turn. Huh. I wonder how that's determined. And you get they've been called 48 times and they've been called 29 times. Okay. Enough of the boringness. Yep. Just one last thing. decided to take the Dragovian Trials. Why, yes! I hope you'll allow me to accompany you as Munchie again. Meh. Not like it be of any use, Actually, but... it isn't a request. <laughs> We've oh, come gee, together that's polite! <laughs> I have every intention of us staying together. Until the... Let us go, then. To the Heavenly Dais. Where oh. the Lord of the Dragovians awaits. Yeah, each you can. I can't remember how many trials it is, but after you get done with them, you can do them all uh, consecutively. 